All right, so I have a track day coming up on Sunday, which is going to be my first time actually tracking the car. So what I'm going to do is put my stock wheels back on because my aftermarkets have all season tires on it and I want to run summer tires and I don't want to burn the crap out of these tires. So I'm going to throw the stock ones on and I actually lost the bolt for one of the supports for my sway bar. Uh, the bottom bolt for my sway bar bushing on the driver's side, which I found out is kind of like a common one to strip because I know like three four people that actually strip theirs too um, my bolt's gone so I got an extra bolt I'm gonna send through I'm actually gonna put a nut on the back side of it and swap these wheels out but first I gotta get a coffee all right so I got my coffee um, I'm gonna get going uh, wheels and tires are in the car I don't know if you can see three in there in the back next to the camera gear uh, that was a pain in the ass getting them over here because my house is like a block away. But I guess we'll get going. Um, I actually wanted to measure how far my splitter was off the ground before and after. Because if the, the uh, stock wheels and tires put me a little lower, I'm actually going to raise my suspension just a little bit. Because uh, I already scrape with my splitter here and there, like going over speed bumps or like steep, steep driveways. So... Uh, I'll raise it up just a little bit just so the track day, nothing gets really destroyed. But uh, let's get going. e-brake but the front one will spin and it will be hell so I'm gonna take these off the rest of the way and tackle that bolt first um, as you can see I'm doing a side at a time because it's actually easier because my jack doesn't reach the diff in the back to do the whole back of at once or the transmission brace I actually believe in the front I've actually never jacked up the entire front I usually do a side at a time so uh, like I said jack's not big enough the diffuser in the back makes it hell to try to jack up the car so just do one side do it all put the, the new wheels on torque them down like I said let's do the back bolt first and don't forget to take your hub set your grins off if you had Alright, so tackling this bolt first, um, this is what I got. This said I'm going to send it through, put, put the nut on the end. Uh, this is the bolt that I lost over here. Um, it's not like a crucial, crucial part, but it's needed. This is just holds on the bottom of the, the sway bar. Um, I mean, as you can see now, it's kind of jacked out a little bit because I got one side of the car up so the sway bar is flexing but this is a white line sway bar and they give you longer nut longer bolts to go through the stock ones the stock one is like right there to there this the white line one goes all the way through this and this back piece stripped and like I said it's a common thing to strip so let's just throw a new one in hopefully it holds and we're all good I actually probably would have never known that this came out because I mean, I feel like the car didn't perform any differently on the ride home this weekend, but this was actually tapping against the floor on big bumps. I was like, what the hell is that noise? But I looked and I was like, oh, there you go. Found my noise. So throw this bolt in and then we'll put the new wheels on. The new wheels. I'll put the stock wheels on. Basic. All right, so the bolt's in and now it's time to throw the wheels on and do the other side and hopefully not die of heat exhaustion. All 
so the wheels are on. Slow the car down and then I'll actually torque the wheels. Then move on to the other side. Alright, so the wheels are on and that was horrible. All I was just changing wheels and um beat. I'm leaving the spacers on. Actually, as much as I hate these wheels, they look a little bit better with the spacers and the drop. But let's finish it up. These lug nuts might be the most annoying things to work with. But they look good. I actually did a little horrible review of these, but uh, they're two piece. There's the, the lug nut, that's the actual lug nut, and then this blue piece is actually a cap that goes over it. They're actually locking. There's the four and then the locking. It's, I actually think everyone has a, a different key. I don't think it's like one of those generic ones, but. I mean, if people want to steal your wheels, they're still going to steal them. Well, I put everything back together and I realized I forgot I wanted to check how high my car was sitting. So, cross your fingers for me. Hopefully it's not lower. Hopefully it's either the same or ideally it would be slightly higher. Um, I rolled the car back and forth like a couple times. Hopefully that leveled everything out because usually it doesn't sit uh, ride height after you lift up one side and drop it back down so wish me luck we are even same height all right guess it's staying like that alignment is coming saturday now i gotta figure out what the hell i'm doing with all this stuff gotta figure out how i'm getting the wheels back to the house i guess they're gonna go back in the in the mustang like i said saturday getting the alignment and saturday night i actually have a uh, like a cruise with the with my team, Team Subaru 15. Uh, we're actually going through Times Square. It should be fun. Usually get a big turnout. Last year there was like 150 cars, but it was open to the public. This year we're just doing a private meet, just team only. Sucks I gotta go there with stock wheels, but by the time we're actually rolling through Times Square, it's gonna be like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. So by the time I get home, go to sleep, and then I gotta be up like 5.30 in the morning the next day to go to the track day. Um, which is in English Town, New Jersey. It's gonna be my first time and it should be fun. I gotta do the class, so I don't know the actual schedule of the class, but I know there's like a actual class time. I guess they show you videos and pictures or whatever, and then you gotta drive around with the instructor and then you get to go out by yourself. So wish me luck on that one and hopefully nothing breaks on my car. Um, I was gonna do an oil change. I'm at like 2,700 miles on this current oil, but, but I forgot to order the oil and it won't be here in time to do it so even with Amazon Prime I mean I guess it will be here on time but I really don't feel like doing it so I'm gonna do it right after the track day during the week maybe maybe the next weekend but uh, I want to thank you for joining me on this really really quick video I mean it is just changing wheels and tires and that doesn't take very long I think even if you've never done it before it probably takes like 15-20 minutes and I was dilly-dallying so fix the bolt change the wheels like I said it's actually sitting pretty nice I guess I mean for stock wheels as much as I hate these wheels but it doesn't look horrible I left the spaces on just to have them sit out a little bit to get a slightly better fitment on it but ride height is decent um, good height off the floor four inches which if anyone knows Brooklyn roads is not a lot so we should be good. Like I said, alignment is Saturday. Then uh, Times Square meet. Then track day the next day. I'm going to try to make a video for both of them. Um, we actually got a videographer going for Saturday night. So I'm going to try to like do a little bit of video and then hopefully get the video he makes to post on, on the channel. And then Sunday night, is, Sunday night, Sunday morning is track day. And that's going to be a really long day. And I'm actually working on some custom fog bezels because I sold my other ones. So
so custom ones have taken a really long time to do. I gotta go get a hot glue gun to get the light to sit where I want it to sit, but then we wire it, throw them on. Then I'm not looking really, really, really basic. So once again, thanks for joining me. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.